So here we have the screen, which is touch screen. Um, so I'm going to talk about the different pieces on it and uh, you can see the buttons that are, are lined up, but these are everything on here is touch screen. The reason it's coming up with EO3 is because we've only got it wired up at the moment. There's no flow going through the heat pump, so it's giving us an error code. But what we're going to do is we're going to show you um, to change the setting of the mode. We tap the mode button and you can see the feature in the top left is changing between an icicle for cooling only, a sunshine for heating only, and then we've got auto mode. Um, the difference is um, cooling will only cool, heating will only heat, and in auto it will do heating and cooling depending on whether it's over or under its target point. So for most swim pool customers, we're gonna want it on the sunshine. Then, the other feature that we have is the timer feature. Now we've got the clock up in the top left hand corner. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, you can see here, we've got on and off. These are two separate independent timers. So you can have a timer for it to come on automatically. And you can also have a timer for it to go off automatically. And these are timers that um, can be set independently or together. And in order to remove the timer, if they're accidentally on, um, we do that by pressing and holding the clock button over here for three seconds. It will start to flash. And then if we just press the power button gently once, the off, uh, on button will disappear. And we can do the same with the off by pressing and hold the timer, press and hold the timer again, and it moves to the off, press the power button, and now the timers are no longer on. If we want to set the timers though, we can do so by pressing and holding the timer button. Pressing the timer once, quickly, it jumps over. Now we can change the time, so we can say, okay, we want it to come on at, say, eight in the morning. Press it again, it will jump over. Press it again, and it will jump to the off. Press it again, and it allow us to set the off. So now we can up it to, for example, uh, eight o'clock in the evening, for argument's sake and press it again and now we're set so now we have a timer set for eight o'clock in the morning eight o'clock at night as off and again to remove those press and hold when it's flashing press the power button once the timer disappears press and hold the clock again press and hold it again to move to the off while the off is flashing press the on and it disappears and now if we're going to set the timer, then we also need to make sure the actual time clock is correct. And in order to set the time clock, we press the clock once and we start flashing on the, oh, press it once and we see it flashing on the hour. Then we can set the time. So let's say it's nine o'clock for argument's sake. And then press the time clock again to save and it stops flashing so again just to show you that it's touch the clock once the clock will flash touch it again the hours will flash up and down to set the hour touch the clock again the minutes will be flashing up and down and when you're happy press it again and then it's set um, to change the set point we simply just press the up and down arrow while it's in the standby position and it will come up with the word set point or set temperature sorry and we can say we want it set at 30 degrees for argument's sake and we just wait until that stops flashing and when it goes back we've now got it set and we can prove that by pressing the up and it's still at 30. The once it's uh, running where it says off once we press the power button to physically turn it on we've now got 15 degrees and a half in, 16 out because it's not actually running. That's where we can see it running. And then we can press and hold the power button again to turn it off. I'm gonna show you how to put the padlock on to lock out the controller, which is quite handy on here. We can do that by pressing and holding the power button. It takes about five or six seconds. And then you will see the little padlock that's come up. Now with the padlock in place, none of the buttons will work. We can't change anything. We can't turn it on can't do anything and to unlock it we press and hold the power button for five seconds and then the symbol's gone and we're now able to use the controller again.